Hey guys, you remember I was talking about uh, max voltage? So I gave it a test. The max voltage on this bike is 116 before it goes into protection. But, uh, no, 119. Sorry. Um, so I'm basically going to put three more cells in. Let's just bring it up to 115, which it uh, seems to spin pretty good on that. So, that's what I'm in the process of doing now. I was just going to make it so these cells bounce around in there. Don't bounce around in there. And I'm going to put them... I'm going to put the booster pack on Anderson's. And I'm probably going to make it so it's removable. I'm working on that now. Hopefully it fits. We'll see. Well, I gave it a test. Uh, didn't even make it out of the driveway. And uh, the bike was really jittery at first, so I mean that uh, 116 is still too much. So I've dropped it down a cell, hoping that'll help. Uh, I'm not sure what it takes it now. My charge leads here. It takes me to 110. Obviously, it's gonna be more when it's fully charged, but. When I went to leave, it uh, was jittering quite a bit. It was really choppy, so I might even have to drop it down to one. I don't know. But, uh, definitely three was too much. So we'll uh, we'll test that, fully charge it, and test it. Well, it works with two cells. Uh, running voltage is roughly about uh, 115, 114. That's after a long ride. Uh, it doesn't uh, chug when you first turn it on after a, after a charge. So really all I did was add an extra 7 volts, 2 cells, so... Oh. That could be an issue. Can't move the wire. So, I do it like that for now. I got that one wired in with the Andersons. And... The main charger, which is obviously 79 volts, but uh, it works. Anything more than that, they, it just gets, it just produces a lot of heat and chugs like crazy. So that's the maximum voltage. Later, guys.